Hi, I'm Dr. Shauna with United Medical Marijuana Clinics, United MMC. Um, today I'm talking to you about post-traumatic stress disorder and the use of medical marijuana. This is not a new topic, uh, but the, I'm bringing it up today because a study by the Journal of Neuropsychopharmacology just released a study last month in September, once again demonstrating how medical marijuana is effective in the treatment of post-traumatic stress disorder. Now, in this study, they uh, took three, well, four groups of rats, one control rats that weren't given any marijuana. Uh, group two was a group of rats that were given marijuana two hours after exposure to severe stressful situations. Group three was give, were given injections of mar medical marijuana uh, 24 hours after exposure to stress. And group four was give, were given an injection. 48 hours or roughly two days after the exposure to stress. Now after uh, the stressful event and uh, administration of medication, the rats were given a week to recover from the stressful event. Um, and at this point, the scientists used parameters to determine what degree of post-traumatic stress these rats actually suffered. And I'll go into symptoms of post-traumatic stress after the discussion of this study. But basically, after a week, um, the rats were assessed, and it was found that rats that received an injection 48 hours or more, at, or no injection, um, after being exposed to a stressful situation, demonstrated symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder. The rats that received mar medical marijuana injections two or 24 hours after being exposed to stress demonstrated absolutely no symptoms. They were happy rats no symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder. Now keep in mind, humans are not rats, and rats are not humans. So the study is just a preliminary study that demonstrates the effectiveness of marijuana on post-traumatic stress disorder. And given the, there's obviously a, a window of opportunity, as demonstrated in the study, but a two-hour window may be a day for a human because rats have a faster lifespan than people. But that's still to be worked out. But this, like I said before, this is not new information. It's been known that medical marijuana is extremely effective in the treatment of post-traumatic stress disorder. Okay, so what is post-traumatic stress disorder? Uh, post-traumatic stress disorder is uh, gener uh, categorized as an anxiety disorder. Uh, it's a condition that people develop after they experience a stressful event or they witness a stressful event or they know of someone, usually someone that's close to them, that had a stressful event and they themselves demonstrate symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder. And um, an example would be uh, the attacks on the World Trade Center uh, on 9-11. You have people that were in the towers and managed to get out uh, that got post-traumatic stress disorder. You have um, people who have family members or close personal friends that were in the towers, whether they survived or not, that individual who wasn't even in the tower developed post-traumatic stress disorder just because they knew someone or they had to worry about someone that was in the tower at the time that they were attacked. Or even a person that was nowhere near the scene of that attack. They may have been on the other side of the country and they saw the events unfold on TV. And that caused a post-traumatic stress, or a development of post-traumatic stress disorder. There's some other examples of triggers that can put someone into um, symptoms of PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, would be rape, um, veterans of war. We see that big time right now with the veterans from Iraq because they had to deal with, is there going to be a bomb going to blow up if I roll down the street? Is that really a garbage can or not? So they are very, very prone to post-traumatic stress disorder. Also, bereaved parents after the loss of a child may develop this condition also. Symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder is categorized in three ways. You have reliving, avoidance, and hyperactivity. And then those terms have different, different ways of being expressed, but generally that's what the three criteria for post-traumatic stress disorder. So in the case of reliving a situation, that would be a person has symptoms of, for instance, a, a war veteran from Iraq. They may hear a car backfire and immediately relive an event where uh, a, a roadside bomb went off. 
Another example would be someone may smell something that reminds them of a crime scene uh, they were a victim in, and that will cause them to relive the event. Um, also, recurrent thoughts of the event that cause distress or even nightmares, recurrent nightmares reliving the event over and over and over again are examples of reliving. Uh, examples of avoidance would be a person using drugs or alcohol to numb themselves to try to not remember all of these stressful events that happen to them that put them into PTSD. Uh, other symptoms of avoidance is, uh, are uh, avoiding people that you normally would hang out with or events that you normally go to, just completely uprooting your activities of daily living and ostracizing yourself, for lack of a better term, away from everything and everyone because you just can't handle it. Uh, and hypersensitivity, that is a person that is just super sensitive to anything, mostly mental emotional. So this would be a person that is sensitive to criticism. They, and they, they're aware of it most of the time. They just, I don't know why I blew up at that suggestion. It wasn't that big of a deal. Uh, people who get into uh, a tiff with a significant other and punch a hole in the wall. And they go, I don't know why I'm doing this. I just can't help myself. Everything just sets me off. So that's an example of that. So going back to the use of medical marijuana and post-traumatic stress disorder, it's believed uh, that the marijuana actually acts upon what's called your endocannabinoid system, and I will be doing a blog on that later on. We don't fully have an understanding of how this system works other than there are a series of receptors throughout the body that respond to cannabinoids similar to what's found in marijuana. There are other sources. Um, you can actually stimulate the receptors with meditation and things of that sort, but that takes a lot of training and a lot of dedication. Not to say no one, and no one can do it, but it's not like, oh, I'll just do this today. Uh, also, it's a natural substance, so it's been around for a few millennia. It's found in every civilization. If there were real issues as far as side effects and uh, disruption of lifestyle and things of that nature that are beyond what people are normally aware of, we probably know about that by now. Treatment, other treatment options for post-traumatic stress disorder in the conventional MD medical model are antidepressants, anti-anxiety medications, um, and counseling. Counseling and support groups are absolutely phenomenal for situations like this with post-traumatic stress disorder. There are groups for um, veterans of war that have post-traumatic stress disorder. It used to be called shell shock, and men were expected to just quote unquote get over it, but now it's actually acknowledged that they have significant stress due to their tours of duty. Um, also bereaved parents, there's a lot of groups such as candle lighters that are there for, to help people get through. You never get over, you get through a situation like that. So that's even in the naturopathic world, those uh, support groups are very, very um, highly recommended. Highly, highly recommended. Um, naturopathic treatments other than support groups would include mind-body medicine, like homeopathy, uh, which will I have a link to the article that's linked to this video blog that will take you to some information about homeopathy as well as biofeedback, uh, other mind-body medicine techniques um, that will help a person, again, transition through that state of shock or trauma. If you or someone you know has symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder and would like to discuss your uh, treatment options at length, uh, we can be contacted at unitedmc.org or the phone number is 602-955-1444. Thank you.